Okay, let me try this again. And my recorder keeps cutting off sitting here in the car. And this is just a little of my pre-video before I see a new Indiana Jones movie. That's right, I've seen four Indiana Jones movies in my short life. But after tonight, I will have seen five. And I don't understand why some of you are not hyped up for Indiana Jones. I don't get it. Hey, I'm like, hey, you want to go see Indiana Jones? They're like, no, I didn't like the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's no reason not to see this one. This one's not Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This is a new one. Oh. People. Hey, you gonna go see the new Indiana Jones movie? Nope. Why not? I didn't like The Last Jedi. What's that gotta do with Indiana Jones? I don't understand people nowadays. Or I'm like, hey, you wanna go see the new Indiana Jones movie? And they're like, no. And I'm like, why wouldn't you want to see it? And they say, um, I, uh, I saw a spoiler online, or the critic said, well, I, don't, I just, I just don't understand. I don't care if it's Harrison Ford dressed up like Indiana Jones, walking up and down the street. I don't. But he's old. I don't care if he's old. I grew up on Indiana Jones. It's exciting. It's Indiana Jones, man. I didn't think when I was a kid back in the 80s that I would be 50 years old seeing a new Indiana Jones movie with Harrison Ford. And that's worth it right there. Harrison Ford, man. I know. You're just a shield for Disney. You'll go see anything. I'll go see anything with Harrison Ford wearing an Indiana Jones cosplay outfit. Because I want to see Indiana Jones. I don't care. Like, I go in thinking it's going to be okay. It's just a movie. People act like... Hey, if I go see it, it ain't no good. I'm going to get AIDS. No, you're not going to get AIDS. You're going to go see it. You're going to spend about two hours, two hours and a half. You're not going to like it. You're going to go home, and that's going to be it. You can go home, get something to eat, go to bed, go to work next day. Go see it. It doesn't kill you. It doesn't make you sick. I don't understand that. I, you know, I'd much rather go see a movie and not like it than see a movie six months from now on TV and then be like, man, I just saw that on the big screen. And I don't know. You call yourself a Harrison Ford fan? Or any of Jones fan, you won't even support it. You won't even support it because, look, Kathleen Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy did something. Oh, sorry, I just, I just don't understand. Where's all, where's my, where's my Gen X people? Where's the people excited? It's Indiana Jones. I know. I'm gonna get the comment section going here. Oh, this dude is woke. Oh, it's got a girl in it. I know. I didn't think I would live today to see a woman in an Indiana Jones movie, but it happened. Get over it. I, I had to get over it. I had to accept a woman in an Indiana Jones movie. It's crazy. But she but she did the voice of the droid in Solo, and it made fun of Social Justice Warriors, so I don't like it. Oh, I just don't understand. But this is, I get this, but let's not just talk about the hate. Let's talk about the excitement of seeing Indiana Jones. I knew Indiana Jones movie. Think about Harrison Ford. If you told me as a kid, I wouldn't believe you. I like, there's no way Harrison Ford is going to be doing this at 80 years old, playing Indiana Jones. And I, just to see him. I'm really excited about seeing the de-aging stuff. I hear it's the best, like the World War II stuff. And I always had this thing in my head, like, I want to see Indiana Jones in World War II. I think it'd be cool. I think we did see him in World War I in the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, but who really counts that? But, man, and, and I talked about it before. My son fell in love. I remember I showed my son Raiders of the Lost Ark, and he's like, I don't really watch any movies. He's probably about eight or eight, probably about seven or eight. He saw the cave scene, and he was hooked. He was like, couldn't stop looking at it and watch that movie. He watched Raiders... And all the Indiana Jones, most like every day, that and Planet of the Apes. I don't know which one he watched the most. And he would dress up like Indiana Jones. We have a Indian place in town, Indian mounds, where where the Indians used to live. And you can go inside one of their mounds and everything. You dress up like Indiana Jones, go in there. And I was like, man, I used to. I didn't dress up as a kid. Well, I did later. I had a hat. I guess you call that dressing up. And I remember going to Indian mounds, running around, also just like he did as Indiana Jones. And, you know, when Kingdom of the Crystal Skull came out, he was. That was like the year he was born or something. He's 17 now, so... Uh, he was... Was he not born? Uh, 15. It's about 15 years, right? So maybe he was one or two. He didn't get the experience. He got to experience some of the toys I bought. Uh, you know, kind of put it for him to play with. He got a little older. Uh, my daughter saw Crystal Skull. She wasn't really... She just went to get out of the house. I don't understand. Some kids... Some, at least she got out of the house, but then lately she got where, you know, hit the teenager. Like, you want to go to the movies? No, I don't want to see that. When I was a kid, somebody asked me to go to the movies. I wouldn't ask him what to go see. I'd just like, yeah, let's go. But anyway, my son fell in love with Indiana Jones. And was it 10 years ago they announced Disney bought it and it was going to do a new one and everything. And we've been waiting. He's been hyped. He's We've seen Raiders on the big screen. I actually seen Raiders on the big screen too much. I only care about seeing it on the big screen again. Because uh, we were bought there for like five years every year. Somebody would show it. We'd go see it. So. We've seen Raiders on the big screen, but he's never experienced a new movie. I've never experienced a new movie with him when he saw C Crystal Skull, which he loved back then. Now he's like, it's okay. But we'd watch it all, but, you know, I watch it with him, but I've already seen it. So we get to experience that together. 
And that's what Indiana Jones and these movies are about. It's not about, oh, it ain't that good, or, oh, it's got this person in, oh, this producer produced it, this writer wrote it, this director directed it. No. It's about the experience, getting out with your family and your friends, or just by yourself. Just go and see it by yourself and embracing yourself in Indiana Jones. You know, it's like Star Wars. Even when Star Wars is bad, it's better than most of that crap that's out there today. Sorry, some guy wanted to come by with his radio blaring real loud. I hope you can't hear that. Oh, this ain't the 1990s, dude. You know, you're not all about that bass. But that's what the experience. Go, immerse yourself. Like, I get to see Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones. That's all that matters. I don't care. I mean, yes, I want it to be good. I, I know it's not going to be as good as the original three because I was a kid when I saw them. So I'm going in hoping for better than Crystal Skull, which I think is okay. But I just, I just don't understand why people are just like, oh, I'm going to die if I go see it. it. ain't no good. Go see it. Enjoy. Life is short. Enjoy. Don't worry about what you hate. Go like it. If you don't like it, go back home, take a nap, go back to work the next day. That's it. Y'all just put it out of your mind. You know, some Terminator movies. I love the first Terminator movies. Hated the other ones. I still see them, you know, sometimes. And I'm like, oh, this is horrible. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. I'm just rambling here. I'm excited. Indiana Jones is back, baby.